Today we're going to do a comparison of two spreaders. One was from Andy Easter on his Facebook channel, a Facebook group called something builds. I think down below anyway. And this one and one is what I've added since Feb, which I've done used on my rental and I did on Cameron's the other day. So downsides on the Andy one. I can't see no downsides on it at the moment. No nothing that could go wrong with it. I've used this one about six times now, if not more. The nuts keeps coming undone. Um, and I've noticed between the two, the hose on this one is smaller than the one that Andy's is a bit bigger. Um, and There's no rim. There's no rim here. But on Andy's, we've got one all the way around, as you can see. And that feels more stronger than this one. Um, there's a middle metal bar in the middle on this one. And on this one, we've got a huge one here. Um, but that's the only difference I can see at the moment, those two differences. And, oh, leave that open. We've got the compost. We've gone down and got some stuff that I used last time from uh, from the range. Four for a tenner, saving six pounds. Wasn't too bad last time I used it on my lawn and this one that's been cut. So, on here. Some soup, put some seed in on it, and at the moment that's staying on. And on Andy's, as you can see, we've got a pin, and so apart from that, they're roughly the same, they're about the same length, width. A lot stronger. Um, hinges on here are smaller compared to ones on Andy's. Uh, right, so I'm going to do now. I'm going to set the put it together.
in one nut and bolt goes on one side compared to the other one. Oh no, hang on, Phillips! Bring my drill out, please. Oh, that's a good fit, that's 13. 13 nut. So you don't need? No, I don't need it. So, put them together, wash on each side. Uh, I can always tell this is, feels more, more stronger than that side. Nuts and bolts are done the right way. Nuts and bolt, nut and screw the other side. That's a bit smaller. Only one nut in that side. And then this side, we've got a nut there. Not there. Not on the inside. Small hinges. There's no gap here. There's a gap here. And on this one we haven't got a gap. So, and that's a bit more springy. This one here goes shut straight away. So, and of course on this one we've got two bolts. Either side. Nuts that side. Bit more that's a bit more freer so I reckon that one this one's got a smaller hose than this one as you can see from the fingers and then this one is a bit different so this one will whack out a le lot less and this one will whack out quite a lot more so what we're gonna do we're gonna do two two strips strip down 
and strip back. See how, how much comes out of that one. We're gonna do one end, one that side. I'm gonna do one end this side. So we'll fill them, we'll fill them. We'll video it separately. We'll do one one side, one this side, and then we'll see how many we get. And of course, over here, we'll start here. So we've got a clear straight, and then, Again, phone cut out again. I think it's too hot for the phone. So it's only recording a little bit. So we'll chuck in. I might have to um, drop that, see if it goes off or not. This one's not the battery, because the battery's full. Yeah, so Andy's just got this and they got the extra beading on the thingy and thicker hose. And that means a lot more better, so I reckon that'll work quite well. Um, and then on the other one, the cheap one I bought, that keeps on coming undone. There's no Bridge here. And of course, these are different as well. An HC difference hose. So this takes less to fill up, well, use. So I should take a bag in there and then we'll do a comparison. One bag in there, one bag in there, so so I shall start on the corner, work down, I'll see how many that can takes out and then we'll compare it with that one. So we can use Andy's first.
Not bad look covering, apart from there, yeah, where we uh, did rip it, injured it, because I'll just get the brush on that. And on this side, it's a cheap one, from no normal pla place that you get from eBay, Amazon, uh, B&Q, delivered. And of course Andy's bigger hose gets that a lot more, not a bad coverage. I don't find, apart from when you stop and turn, it fills up a little bit. Of course, you've got gaps, more gaps, and then over here, there's more space. So I should chuck another bag in to make sure they're building the red, do an extension on the ship. So I should take another bag in there. Actually, I'll chuck one in Andy's. Another bag in Andy's. left in there. Now we empty this one, open this one. We've got a lot more waste in this one just because the hose are smaller.
two positives and probably two negatives. There's a positive, which is the one, the chief one I've had, not Andy's, the other one, because of the small hose. It let, lets more, less compost out. So I prefer that one for laying it. But the con on that one is the nut keeps coming, on, coming under. Of course, it hasn't done it this time, but it normally does. But it's got a bit of silicone on it, keeping it in. And it's quite harder to push. Now, Andy's Pro, it's easy to use. It's better made. But the hose is too big. I find, I think it's too big because it's let out too, way too much um, compost. But that's only my opinion. Uh, as you can see, one bag, one Andy's, done four rows and on a cheap one from B and Q and you get from Argos, um, not Argos, um, Amazon and B and Q, um, Amazon and Al, uh, eBay and get four to five, even six, six rows. When we'd done it last time, we top dressed it last time about three weeks ago, roughly three weeks ago, we used four bags and I went over it twice. Um, so, of course, with Andy's, it's better to use, it's better made, but that one will last longer than the cheap one. Both of them cost the same, roughly. Andy's, I think it was 110, 110 pound delivered. It's not now, it's 110 plus 15 pound postage. And the other one's just got left. Now, the other one is, I think that was 110 or 120 pounds from B&Q. You only can get it online. It comes from a second, it comes from, it's advertised on B&Q website, but it gets delivered by another company. So that one is okay. I've used that now twice on my lawn, and I've used it twice on this lawn now, three times on this lawn. And they've got, both got pros and cons, but I reckon Andy Easter's one will last longer than the other one better made the other one's cheap but I prefer that I prefer that one laying out the nice fin there so this should be going on Facebook later uh, uh, eBay um, getting the words out we're going on YouTube next week and you'll be watching this it'll be following the one that I fed my lawn and cut it so it'll be 29th of June. Today is the 9th of June, isn't it? Yeah, and this will be advertised. This will be on YouTube on the 28th, 29th, the last Wednesday of the month. So, catch you on the next one.